Hello, it's Zara, and today I have a mini album share. I haven't done one of these in so long. Uh, my niece, Rachel, goes to college in Jacksonville, and one of her teachers is having a baby boy, so she asked me if I could make her a mini album. I've done this, I've made her one, so I think she really liked the idea and wanted to make one for her um, teacher. So I said I would, and I did, so here it is. Um, I also did a tutorial. This is the um, Kathy Orta style mini. This is the envelope mini that you do with the duct tape binding. So I figured um, I would shoot a tutorial. So I shot um, the making of this one. Um, the only thing I didn't do is the cover. I did the, the rip. We finished it. We totally finished it. I just didn't embellish. I didn't embellish. So this is the finished, finished album. If you know, if you well, I haven't uploaded anything. I think I'm going to up. Ooh, excuse me upload this first and then I'm gonna start because there's at least gonna be five to six parts to the other one um, just the way I shot it I had to break it up into a lot of parts I mean maybe there won't be that many I'm not sure I'm still kind of getting it onto the computer but um, I fin I fi figured I just share the finished piece and then if you want to see the tutorial you can if you don't skip it but um, I'm pretty sure Kathy Ortiz is still up online. Uh, I love it. I think it's um, a well-made mini album. So it tends to be the one I go back to all the time. I've made lots of different ones. I mean, the last share I just did was with my, um, I did it with my Bind It All. And this is a good uh, way to go to. I mean, there's no fancy stuff on here. These are just flat pages. But, um, this has a few pockets and a few things and some of them get real extravagant and have a lot of you know tricks and stuff going on but let me just show you what i have here this is real basic since it's not for me and it's just for a mama i wanted her to be able to embellish it um her own way so i did add a tie to this just some blue seam binding here i am um, put um eyelet holes there with my crocodile and just put the late the ribbon through it um I did add some ribbon and some um, pearls. I didn't want to girl it up too much because it is for a baby boy, but mommy likes that type of stuff, I'm sure. So um, put some corners on it and stuck with the brown and blue theme. I used the paper stack here. This is um, almost gone. This is it. I have two pieces left, I'm, I want to say. Um, this is the DCMV baby boy stack, and this is from a couple years ago, probably. I had made one a couple years ago and this is what I had left and I thought I'm going to use it up as best I can um, and that way next time I need to make a baby boy album I'll get the new paper stack but I you know I figured I'm going to use what I have I got to start using what I have because you know how we get we hoard that paper and we don't use it so um, let me go through this so this is chipboard covers and the only two things I did embellish I did do the front and back covers and I just put this little, um, this is from the cut apart parts, I'm sorry, in the paper stack. And I'm going to give these to Rach to give her to so that she can use them as she sees fit in here if she wants to. I put the little stork there with the baby's uh, born on weight and length little card and then baby boy, that's it. And then the next page, it's, everything's just really plain. I just matted everything. Oh, I put a couple of journaling. These are just, again, the cut aparts. I inked only the... Um, the decorative paper. I didn't ink any of the um, craft card stock. So, um, and then you just mat all your, um, these are tags, I guess you would call them, really big tags. So you can definitely fit big pictures in here. Kathy always says it has a lot of real estate. That's what she calls um, having all this room in here. So this is another, a big two page layout. And then you have a whole nother, the cards that go with the envelope. So really lots of place to put pictures. Um, so that's why I like it. I think it's, um, and, and I've sold all, I have no, no, I have, actually I do. I have a couple over there that I show in the tutorial because that's all I had left from all my minis that I made. Um, so because I've been doing so many other things that I haven't really, uh, been making these, I've been trying new things. So it's all good, but I, this is what I loved when I first started paper crafting. I really wanted to make minis and I did. Oh, I got to mat the back of those. So this is it. 
nothing much to it. It's kind of plain and simple, just so Mama can put her pictures in. Put a little baby boy and a little train on the back, and that's it. Just a little ribbon. I didn't put the pearls down this uh, trim here. I just put a little piece of satin ribbon, and that's it. Kept it real simple. Um, so like I said, if you're interested, I'm going to be uploading um, the tutorial. And, uh, you know, if there was something you were stuck on, or maybe I can show you a different way. I actually use um, the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to construct the book. And I use some line tape and some even, um, I think I put all my mats on with my um, ATG gun. But uh, it's basically her construction. So, I mean, if you know what you're doing, you probably don't need to check it out. But I like to put a tutorial up. A lot of times I get questions for tutorials or people have comments. And um, I just figured I hadn't made one in a long time. I just wanted to do it. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And thanks for watching.